Good morning, grade five. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Our lesson today is about adverbs of degree. What are adverbs? Adverbs, all of us know that they are words to describe the action words. Like, he is running, he is running fast. He is running fast. Or he, um, what, what, uh, what, uh, what we can say, yeah, um, uh, the, the, again, one, two, three. Good morning, grade five. Our lesson today is about adverbs of degree. All of us know what are adverbs, okay? Adverbs are words, we, uh, we use them to describe action words and adjectives, okay? Uh, how we use them, how we use them, and, uh, uh, and they come before the, uh, uh, the word or after the word or whatever. That's what we, we know today. We have some adverbs of degree. Why I said adverbs of degree? Because I want to know how much is that thing I'm talking about or the adjective I'm talking about how much how power is it how much or how power is it how much what how much big how much cold how much is the size or whatever okay so I have a little quite very extremely a little required very extremely and why why and why I put them in this order I used them in this order because I have a triangle at the same time and why I ordered them like this as we see in our triangle the space of the top is not very big it's a little and then it became uh, much bigger but not very so it's not very okay and it's not a little so it's a quiet and then it's very big and then very very big it's extremely so this is the sequence of degree for each adverb of these bonds okay next here we have some examples we have some examples like the elephant is extremely big why I used extremely here? I used the adverb extremely to help me to describe how big is the elephant. How big is the elephant? So it's very, very big. That's why I used the adverb extremely. It helped me to know, to describe the adjective I have big. Okay? In number two, the mouse is quite tiny. I want to know the degree, the size of the mouse. I want to describe the adjective I have that it's not very tiny and it's not a little. It's quite, not very and not a little. It's quite tiny and I used it before the adjective. And uh, number three, the giraffe's, sorry, the giraffe's neck is very tall. The giraffe's neck is very tall. So I used what to describe the adjective I have. I used very. So very, the adverb very, helped me to know how tall is the neck of the giraffe. And I used it before the adjective. Okay? So generally, the adverbs of degree, a little, quite very and extremely and we have many others but today we will focus on those four so we use them okay as we saw in the uh, in the examples we have we used them to help us to know how power how much is that thing that i'm talking about and i used them to describe the adjectives to describe the adjectives we have other uh, examples okay some other examples like it's snowing it's snowing 
It's a space cold. I want to describe the adjective I have. I want to know the degree. How much cold is it? So I want an adverb to help me to know the degree. The, the, how much is it cold? How much, how much cold is it? So what do you think? It's snowing. So it will be quiet or extremely, of course. Both of them are adverbs, but which one will help me? Okay, and it's suitable for the degree I'm talking about. It's snowing, so I will use extremely. Number two, they left their coats home and wore their jumpers because it was a space cold. They didn't take their coats. It means it's very, very cold or a little cold, a little cold. So, the adverb that helped me to describe, sorry, the adverb that this, uh, both of them are adverbs, but which one is suitable for the degree I'm talking about, for the cold I'm talking about, okay? How much cold is it? It's what? It's a little cold. That's why they left their coats. Number three. They took their hats and sunglasses because it was a space sunny. Oh, they, they took the hats and the sunglasses. Both are adverbs. But which one? Which one will help me to describe the adjective sunny? He already helped me to know that they took the hats and the sunglasses to be a little or very, very sunny. Number four. She could sleep when the weather, sorry, it here is extra, I'm sorry. She could sleep when the weather became what uh, warm. I have again two adverbs. But what do you think the adverb will help me to describe the adjective I have? Actually, okay, she could sleep because it's a little warm or it's quite warm. It's okay, it's warm enough. It's warm enough to sleep. We have other examples here. Don't forget your sunglasses. It's a space hot today. He helped me to know the degree, the, which adverb I will use. Actually, it will be what? Hot, very hot, okay, to protect myself from the heat of the sun. What will I do? I will wear my sunglasses, it's very hot. I'm not wearing a jacket. It's not freezing, it's a space cold. Which adverb will help me to describe the degree? Okay, how much cold? How much cold is it? How I will describe my adjective? I will use what? It's not freezing, so it's a quite cold. It's quite, not very, very cold. It's not freezing, okay, but it's quite, quite cold. Number three, look, a thunderstorm is there. I think today will be what cold? There is a thunderstorm. Thunderstorm, there is a wind, okay, uh, uh, so the, the, the weather will be cold. So it's a letter? No, extremely cold, very, very cold. Number four, it's a sunny. So we have sun. It's a sunny and the space cloudy. We want to describe how much cloudy is it. I want an adverb. Both of them are adverbs. But which one? Which one will help me to describe cloudy? Actually, there is sun, much sun. So it's what cloudy and the degree is 20. Of course, it's a little cloudy. Number five, if you are planning to visit a rainforest, as we mentioned in our lesson that the rainforest is very hot and it's raining all the time. So what do you think? The weather will be quite hot or very hot? Actually, very hot. The rainforests are very near to the equator. As we know, any place near to the equator means a very, very hot place. So it helped me to know again for my information. So our space wet and humid, sorry. Ha, huh. to be what? Extremely or a little? Actually, extremely. So, we took today, okay, or for the first part of the lesson, about the adverbs of uh, degree. 
okay we you uh, we said that we use them to describe how much is that thing okay about the degree of it we took we talked today about four of them okay we talked about a little very uh, uh, sorry a little quite very and extremely how we used them before the adjectives to describe those adjectives okay and how the power of the thing that I'm talking about and how much big how much uh, is it tall or how uh, uh, much is it hot okay uh, the, uh, that are the adverbs of degree we have the second part okay of our lesson is the adjective order uh, adjective order how we can describe something using more than one adjective but which adjective I will use first what will help me to know and how I will order them in a right order actually I have a way and I hope that you will like it we will imagine that we went to a shop and we wiped dress or a t-shirt or whatever so first I will say my opinion about this thing is it beautiful amazing nice okay so i will describe even if i i describe it in a negative way it's not beautiful if i say it's ugly whatever so i said my opinion first and then what do you think if you think of something you will wear so i said my opinion about it and then i will say oh is it my size is it my size that thing uh, will be uh, will be uh, the size I, I i want is it suitable for my age is it suitable for my age i'm a teenager i'm an old, an old woman uh, a lady so it's, it's suitable for my age okay and how it will be on me the shape the shape and after that oh the color the color uh, the color will be nice or not and then what else i want to know the origin i want to know the origin from where the thing come and from where so i will see from where and i will say my opinion about the material material and then i will talk about the thing i'm talking about again i liked something so i said my opinion i want to know the size I want to know about the what the size is suitable for my age it will be nice on me it will be nice on me or not I would like the color the color and then and then what the origin the origin the place and the material of this uh, thing and I talk about the thing itself uh, this is the way if you like it okay or maybe we take the first letter of each one and say a word so you can do it the way you like you can do it the way you like but this is the order for anything and we're not talking for example about the shape all of us know what are shapes okay we have a rectangular a circular um uh, we have many round shape okay so those for the shapes and the origin we talk we, we talk about the origin we talk about the place the place when i say here beautiful small modern 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 it means what new new so i'm talking i talked about the age i talked about the the age and then rectangular means uh, this is the shape plaque color origin the place sorry okay the material and then the thing i'm talking about we have some examples here it doesn't mean all of these okay adjectives i must use them all no i maybe use three or four or five of, the, uh, of them and maybe i skip one of them maybe i'll take the size and then the shape i'm sorry good five maybe i'll, t I'll talk about the size and i will skip the age and the shape and then i will talk about the color that's why i told you to help ourselves to know a way to know the order for them again let's try 
I said my opinion about the t-shirt and I know the size also okay I want to know the size is it suitable or is it good okay yeah the, the size is okay yeah and then the shape how it uh, how it looks okay and then the color from where you got this t-shirt and then the, the, uh, the, the, the this is the origin and then the material we have some examples but before those examples we have some here they uh, this is about plus okay describes plus they have got thick gray coat thick gray coat thick is what sides okay yes this is the first thing that i said i'm talking about my my size and then the color oh size and color i skipped the age and the shape it's okay it doesn't matter i did i didn't i didn't use them so it's okay i skip it okay so i don't have either age or shape so i talked about the size and then the color number two they have got long sharp clothes long sharp clothes long long is what size sharp sharp is what grade five what do you think sharp is shape <clears throat> how it looks like how it looks like yes that's what i said i want to know the size and then how it looks yes and then what the thing that i'm talking about so long sharp clothes they have got short sorry for this they have got short flat head short what short what do you think is short size and flat flat it's like this so this is the shape so i talked about the size and then the what and then the shape i skipped the age but it's okay but what i if i don't have the age so what after size if i don't talk, i talked about the age i talk about the shape so they have got short flat head this is the thing i'm talking about the head we have other examples and we will answer them together we will answer them together we have the order here okay to help you but we will not look okay we will help each other we will try together how we bought space curtains we bought space curtains what do you think here number one silk egyptian green do you think i'm talking about the material first and then the origin no 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 uh, and then the color or i'm talking about the color and then the origin and then the material what do you think huh yes we said we want to know oh, already we skipped some of them but by logic i want to know what i want to know the color and the from where i got it and then the material so green egyptian silk this is a material soft material number two i found i found a space coin I found a space coin. Let's see number one. Gold. Gold is material, yes? And then the size before I complete. Wrong. Tiny size and then round shape and then material or shape first shape and then material and then size. No. I want to know my size and then how it looks and then the material this is number two size material and <coughs> sorry size shape and material so tiny round gold coin number three Jeff bought a bear for shoes oh before I look I want to know the color. I want to know the size. No, I want to know the size. And then the shape. 
Okay, and then the color. So, oh, I have material, and then color, and then how old is it? So, is it right? No, of course wrong, because he got the color after the material. Brown is the color, and then how old is it? Okay, color. Okay, and how old? Wrong. And then I have how old? Okay, modern. And then the color, and then the material, and this is the right one. I should have modern, this is the age, and then the color, and then the material. So, modern brown leather shoes. <coughs> Sorry. Sarah gave her brother a space mirror. Let's see number one. Large, size, antique. Antique is the age, how old. Antique means very old. And then, and then a square is the shape. What do you think? So, large is the size. And then, how old is it? And then, the shape. Huh, what do you think? And then he got for me square shape shape and then he got how modern how size sorry how age and then the size so what do you think before i complete what before i say number three of course number one was i told myself i want to know the size is it suitable for my age and then the shape how it looks okay so size is it suitable for my age and then i will see if it's suitable so the shape will be nice on me so large antique square number five my friends bought a or an table my friends bought a or an table Irish brown linen Actually, linen is a kind of material, okay, it's fabric material. So, Irish is the origin and then the color, of course not. I can't have the, the origin and then the color. Okay, let's see number two. Color and then origin and the material, this is much better. Because here, he started with the material and then the color and this is quite strong. So, I will see the color and then the origin, sorry, and then the origin from where it comes and then the material okay so that's how i use the order of the adjectives and even if i skipped one or two and i start if i said number one and i skipped two and three and, and then i use the four it's okay never mind if i don't have the age or the shape and i have the one after it's okay we have other examples here sarah Hold a space catch. Okay, so this is a seat. Catch means seat. So, what do you think? I will say first the material or the origin or how old is it? Actually, I will start with the age, new, and then the origin and then the material, so new, French, leather. Okay, new. French leather. Our MBS garden is full of what roses? What do you think? I have pink, English, beautiful. As we said, beautiful is what? What do you think beautiful is? This is my opinion. This is the thing I start with. The first thing I'm talking about. So beautiful. And then what do you think? The origin or the color? No. I'm talking about the color and then I want to know from where you got it. So beautiful being English roses. Number three. Sorry. <clears throat> Susan loves wearing space scarf. Silk material, modern age, and then color. Oh, what do you think I start with? As we said, I want to know it's suitable, suitable first for my age, and then I will talk about the color. So, modern, red, silk. Modern, red, 
silk scarf. Peter went to the jewelry shop to buy a or a ring. Of course, I would say my opinion is it what? Ha! Expensive. First, okay, diamond is, is material, by the way. Well, I would I'll talk about it as material. So, diamond expensive or expensive diamond? Actually, I would say this is my opinion that it's expensive, expensive diamond ring. Lamise bought a pair of what shoes. Huh, what do you think? Lisa, material, luxurious, how it looks beautiful, my opinion, and or how it's how much it's expensive in the Italian shoes. So of course I will say I will talk about my opinion that I see it uh, uh, looks exp uh, uh, expensive, cheap or whatever. So this is my opinion, luxurious. And then the origin, Italian, and then lizard. So luxurious Italian lizard. Here we have some examples, and they have uh, some uh, uh, some mistakes. Okay, when the explorers went to the rainforest, they saw the toucan with its sharp, big, yellow bill. Mm. Sharp is the shape, big is size, and then the color. What do you think I'll start with size, yes? How it looks, shape, and then color. So big, sharp, yellow. Big, ha, sharp, yellow. Harvey Eagle, sorry. Ha, the Harvey Eagle has Head, okay, gray, bill, feathery. Head, this is the thing I'm talking about. It will be the last one. Let's say gray is a color, bill is shape, and feathery is material. So I'll start with the shape, how it looks, and then the color, bill, gray, material, feathery, head. Number three, she was exploring the forest when she heard the rattle of the red-eyed frog, tiny, green, lovely. What do you think I will start with? Yes, of course, I will say my opinion first. Lovely. By the way, the red-eyed, this is the name for the frog. So I can't say that the red is a color. This is the name for the thing that I'm talking about, the red-eyed uh, red frog. So I will use or I will deal with the adjectives. Tiny, green, and lovely. Hmm, what do you think? Tiny is the size, green is the color, lovely is my opinion. So I'll say my opinion. Lovely. I say the size, lovely, tiny, green. Okay, lovely, tiny, green. Okay, so she heard the rattle of the red, sorry, the lovely green huh, or size so lovely tiny green red eyed frog okay yeah again she heard the rattle of of the the what the lovely tiny green red eyed frog that's how we use the order of the adjectives i hope i helped you enough to understand and we will continue thank you grade five